Click, 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 click. Yes, Fridays always mean a very fashionable catch-up with SA's most stylish individuals. And that's right, it is time for the Fashion Fix on Vogue and on time. And it's your weekly dose of all things fashion news from around the world and here at home. And kicking off 2018 is lifestyle strategist and is it an ideator. <laughs> ideator. Yeah, yeah. An ideator. <laughs> Seth Shazzy, my man, how are you doing? Okay, Happy yourself? New Year. Good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you. have you here on the couch. Our first Fashion Fix for 2018. And I feel like the Golden Globes made a huge huge oh, statement. It wasn't yeah. a case of who was wearing what, but why yep. they were wearing exactly. it. Exactly. No, but I absolutely love that when, for me, what was so interesting, how everyone came together from every different walk of life. I mean, like, have you ever had Mel Streep and Mariah in the same sentence? Probably never. <laughs> and this time Probably around, never. they all pulled their weight together to actually, I don't know, put their names behind such a big cause. And I think it's something that needs to be spoken about. But the choice of using fashion as sort of like a, 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 like a way to communicate good was, I think, really poignant. And uh, specifically, Specifically, picking black, which is such a bold and beautiful color, I think allowed everyone to sort of say, hey, listen, take this message seriously. But hey, we can still look beautiful and elegant. So they I did, absolutely loved it. Uniquely individual. Oh, yeah, yeah. completely. Yeah, yeah. No, I absolutely loved it. All right, let's talk about news all the way from London town. London. Okay, so basically, the rest of Europe at the moment is actually focusing on men's fashion. Mm -hmm. So, kickstarting with London Fashion Week, which is the men's week for autumn and winter. Now, a lot of people don't usually follow this, but it's one of the most exciting fashion weeks in actually the world. Mm -hmm. Why? Because it's, it's a lot smaller and a lot of collaborations actually happen here. Okay. You've got something like um, Ben Sherman and House of Holland doing a collab, mm -hmm. and Canton Kerwin with David Beckham. So I would always say look at um, London Fashion Week instead of just missing it out because it's so small. Look, but, the, yeah. the Brits have style. They do. They, they and it's know, always, always they kind of edgy and urban, which yeah. is something that's quite missing from like the Paris and the polished sort of like the Italian stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it's mm -hmm. great to see that David Beckham's also, you know, putting his fashion style out there yes, for yes. everyone else. I, like, I think the ladies never come complain every time he steps out. <laughs> <laughs> and news as far as for the rest of Europe? Well, the rest of, of Europe, uh, right there, for instance, Pitti, everyone's talking about Florence, okay. and um, Pitti Urmo is now in its 93rd installation, and everyone always thinks, contrary to popular belief, that every guy just goes to Florence to sit on a half wall, eat gelato, and get their photo taken. Isn't that what they do? I know, it looks like this. <laughs> All like of social media. Spread. I know, I know. Actually, someone should think of that. But actually, <laughs> that's what actually ends up happening, but the real substance happens behind um, that actual wall. You see yeah. behind them, where um, Pretty Uma is actually a trade show, mm -hmm. the most important one for men's fashion in the world, where um, they come together, all of the smaller producers, so like you have like the guys that specialize in like just making buttons, and oh they just goodness. make cufflinks, they all come together into this trade show, and it's the biggest, and it will get you like all the direction in terms of where the trends are going, what fabrics the new suits are going to be, and then these guys, and obviously they care about that, so they go and get, get it there directly from the source. I'm so impressed by this. I think <laughs> we should send Katlech <laughs> Oh, no, no, but <laughs> wait. No, there you go. It. So, like, Menzi, who's one of um, our local stars, um, and also who's the current best-dressed man uh, for GQ this year, he's there at the moment, and that photo actually ended up on Vogue Italia. Oh. So, oh. We, we're making Boy. some waves. Yes. Presenting. Yes. Making them boxes. Looking yeah. absolutely amazing. Okay, so clearly lots of inspiration. And the great week for oh, men in cool. fashion. And envy. <laughs> <laughs> Style envy to catch up on. Listen, thanks so much, uh, Seth. We really do appreciate it. Look Looking forward to uh, a lot more uh, style in 2018. And that's it for our Fashion Fix on your Feel Good Breakfast Show.